Hello, hello, hello. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Transformation Tuesday. Transformation Tuesday. Transformation Tuesday. All right, guys. So today, get some coffee. Mm. All right, well, I don't know about you guys, but I am very excited for American Horror Story coming out tonight. Season 7 premiere. Hey, Elizabeth. How are you doing? Um, so I wanted to try and do something uh, American Horror Story related. Sorry, just looking through things here. Um, but unfortunately... You know, I haven't seen the episode yet, so I don't really know what the season's about. So we know it's called Cult, Season 7 Cult. Um, so I've been going through pictures. I don't know what's wrong with my thing. <laughs> I'm trying to... Uh... No, it's not working. Okay, I'm trying to just get to this picture. It's not working. Uh, let me see if I can... There we go. I I've been going through, um, trying to find, like, images of... American Horror, Horror Story Season 7, whatever I can find. And then it eventually brought me to the um, the opening, the opening sequence, the um, where they show the credits. <laughs> uh, anyways, of course, American Horror Story always has really weird images in the opening credits. And there was one in particular that really stood out to me. And I don't know if this has anything to do with the series itself, because often in the opening scene, you don't really... The opening credits don't necessarily have anything to exactly do like, relate to that season. Anyways, this is the image I found. I have it up on YouTube. You guys can see it. Happy Tuesday, Elizabeth. I see you. Oh, thank you, Elizabeth. So this is the image. So it's an image of a woman's back, or I think it's a woman, uh, with holes in her back and like a little and like bugs crawling out of it. I have not been able to get this image out of my head and I thought it was really creepy and would maybe a very cool uh, paint job for today. All right, let's uh, let's see who's out there. Hello, everybody. Hi, Nefram. Hi, Siti. Hey, Benji. Hi, Queen, since I just mentioned your name, the high school friend, she's also an artist. Oh, that's really cool, Kelly. Um, all right, guys. How are we doing on YouTube? We've got people watching on YouTube. Hello, guys. Um, hey, long time to see Peter. Hi, Peter. Oh, camera's falling. Uh, holes in the back with bugs crawling out. Yeah, Kai Kai can't stay long, but another creepy creation for you would be Pennywise from It's. Very good at suggestion, Tim, especially since there's a new movie coming out. I have done it before, but I should do it again. Um, hey, Kyle! Hi, Kyle! Hi, Veronica. Hi, Eugene. Hey, Michael. Yeah, hey, Galit. Yeah, I hope it's gonna be cool. Hi, Chrissy. Oh my god, that is so gross. I have... I like being there in your photo plus your calls, especially if there's there are things in the holes. Yeah. <laughs> hey Carly, how are you doing? Hi Felicia, I'm doing well, thanks. And how are you? I completely gross. Yes. Hi Ron. How's it going? So yeah, I thought this was pretty gross. I, I have a feeling that this season I mean it's called cult, but they seem to be playing on fears based on like the the intro. I mean there's creepy clowns, there's holes in the body with bugs. Oh, uh, I feel like this is something to do with fears. So, I mean, for, for me especially, I always have this, like, fear that there's bugs inside me. I always, I swear, my biggest fear with bugs is spiders, and I am totally convinced that by, spiders crawl into my ears at night, and they, like, hide in my ears. It's, like, it's just my own fear. So that's why this stood out to me so much, that these creepy, crawly bugs. So... I'm very excited to try this because I haven't really done like holes on my body before like this. That sort of 3D effect, but I think it should be cool. Um, sorry, I'm missing something. This is perfect. Good, I hope so. Hey, Perla. Hi, hi, Andres. Uh, there's a, fo a frog that all the babies crawl out in the holes and fly. That's the creepiest thing. Oh my god. Cheers, Carly. Have a great life after Isha. Thank you, Yolanda. Uh, Going back and forth between Supernatural and you. <laughs> awesome. This is going to be a very uh, creepy day for you then, Frank. Uh, I used to cover my ears with my sheets at night. I swear I do that. I mean, like, I'm I'm also totally convinced that spiders crawl into my mouth at night, which they say, like, for sure they do. So I always sleep with my mouth sort of covered with my uh, bed sheets over my mouth. It just creeps me out. Okay, let me 
see if this is gonna work now. This is annoying. I'm trying to share my own video and it's not letting me. So I hope you guys are sharing my video for me. I'm going to see if I can just try and do it here. I got to share it. Guys, share the video. Let's get as many people watching here as possible. Who's here? Um, <laughs> thank you, Andres. Do, 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 do. No, that's not what I want to do. Share the video. There we go. There we go. I think I did it. I'm technologi technologically challenged today a little bit. Okay, back to YouTube. Oh, I didn't close the feed. Oh, it's picking up that. Okay, I'm going to close that. Uh, okay, here we go. This is still just a little bit bad. We're going to close that. No distractions. I don't need anything creeping and crawling out of, out of the curtain. Okay, let's see. Um, this one. Is anybody watching from Wonder Woman? Oh my god, Benji, I certainly hope not. Justin! Oh my god, where have you been? Justin! It's about time. Okay, so I've also like accumulated a bunch of pictures of like holes and different bugs. And it's just a matter of sort of trying to figure out where to start. So doing yeah, doing these like 3D things, it's a little out of my comfort zone. I love doing it, but uh it's not one of those things I feel like I have like a lot of experience in. So I like stepping out of the box once in a while. Trying something a little different. Just collecting some brushes. Okay. Let's start with you. Okay. Um... What's the plan today, Justin? I am painting holes on myself with bugs crawling out of them. Really creepy stuff. Um, oh, thank you, Henny. Yeah, Justin, we've, I've missed you many weeks. Swapping to YouTube, awesome. All right. Oh, the love. I love. Show me those hearts, guys. I love those hearts. So now I'm gonna start. I'm gonna start by doing the holes on myself. And uh, and then I'll do the bugs. I'm just trying to get an idea of like, hmm, in my mirror that would help. Uh, exactly where I want them to be, and what I want the angle to be at. The 3D effect. So if it's so this would be upside down. I'm gonna flip this the nudge. Uh, how do I do that? Guys, technology is not on my side today. I don't know why. How do I flip you? There we go. Perfect. Okay. So I literally have a picture of holes. <laughs> it's honestly what I'm using as a reference point. Just so I get that sort of depth of the hole. Get an idea. Okay. So I'm going to start... How do you hide the comments? Uh, Joe, I think that you can like swipe on the picture. I think if you swipe like to the left, it like hides the comments. You had my side today. Awesome. I can't wait to see the results too. Okay. So I'm just starting with black eyeshadow. I'm going to try working a lot with the uh, Naked Basics palette today. Awesome little palette, guys. Great neutral tones in it. So I've got, you know, everything I kind of need to highlight and add the depth that I need to it. So I might not even use my face paint at all. I took it out just in case, though. Okay, so let me see. Let's pick a spot. Pick a spot. Let's start over here. Thank you. 
How are you guys doing today? I can give you nightmares and no bueno. Sorry, Khalid. Um, what am I transforming into? So just, I'm not really transforming into anything today. I, I'm putting like holes all over myself and I'm gonna make little bugs crawl out of them. This is what I'm gonna try to do anyways. I've never really done something like this before, so it's a little, a little new for me. But I always like to challenge myself a little bit. Best way is going to be reading it on camera. So I'm kind of using my YouTube camera. It's my good reference. Uh, I'm trapped on Facebook. YouTube is acting a little crazy. I now no word from Aaron. That's weird. Yeah, show me the love, guys. So please like and share the video, guys. Let's get more people in here. Let's get a party going. Um, holes and bugs. Where the butterflies go? I know. All right, guys, so it's officially September. So to me, it's like practically Halloween already. <laughs> so I'm, I, I usually tend to devote most of September and October to doing like the creepy transformations. It's the best time of year. All right, I got one hole sort of. All right. Um, Oh, here's the page, another page. Thank you, guys. You're super pretty. A fellow page. Uh, that's how I learned about you, is through a friend. Cool. Um, much love, that's in your eyes. It's a beautiful. Thank you, Vernon. Done, share already. Awesome. Okay. I'm just going to add some. I need another small brush. Highlighting. This one will do. So actually, with the face paint, I'm probably going to do the bugs with the paint. Much easier than trying to do them. This is a problem with powder sometimes. Tend to just go everywhere, so I might have to. I may need a combination, but I got the first hole done. It has this sort of 3D effect already. You can sort of see if that's taken at the right sort of angle. And you just have to darken it a little bit with the paint. Um, I love fall and Halloween. It's my favorite. Uh, me too. I love Halloween. I mean, I I'm a summer girl, but, you know, I take fall over winter any day for sure. Uh, currently, I know how old, how old am I? You're never supposed to ask a lady her age, but uh, I'm 30. <laughs> you ever done Bellatrix Lestrange on yourself? I, mean, I, I have done Bellatrix Lestrange. That was actually one of my very first ones early on. So there actually is like a short YouTube video of me as her selling, saying like um, a Vatican cadaver and everything. It's kind of funny. Go check it out. Very cool. I'm gonna make some more. So this needs to be right to that end. Cool. Oh, I like that one. Um, I'm 21. I wish. Uh, if you can go out Halloween this year, what or who would I go as? 
Yeah. That's a really good question. Hmm. I really don't know. What would I do? I don't know. I'd probably do something like crazy, like the like the Night King or something. You know, I'd, I'd go all out. Or I would just do like a classic zombie look. Maybe a scary clown. Look at that hole. That looks so cool. Okay, I'm going to try and add a bit more highlight to this one. I think oh, that's what it's missing. Oh, yes. You know, for me, every day is Halloween. You know, like I can dress up whenever I want. It's fun. So I don't know, like, specifically for Halloween what I would be anymore. Cleopatra, that's a good idea. Okay, so got another hole there. Uh, let's add one a little bit lower down. Let's make a small one here. Can you guys see it? Sorry, I don't know if uh, show it enough. What are you guys thinking of going as for Halloween this year? Any really cool costume ideas? Because your ideas will always give me ideas of things I can transform into. A Medusa is a really good idea. Oh, the Jack Sally Henry's one. I, I really, I was very happy with how Yzma turned out. That was a fun one. And yeah, I love doing Jack Skellington. Uh, you can do a scary clown one. Very cool. <laughs> He's almost insane. Thank you. Jenny Depp Pirates. Maybe, yeah, the, um, that's always like my go-to. I haven't done him in a while, though, Johnny Depp, but, yeah. She was wearing no clothes. Wow. That's so cool. See, I, I wish, I mean, I wish I had the confidence to go out <laughs> in just full paint. That'd be, that'd be pretty awesome, but, uh. Here in Montreal, it gets pretty cold, so I don't think I could do it anyways. Okay, we have a hole. I'm feeling very holy, guys. Oh, she was an alien. Cool. That's one I've been really wanting to do lately, actually, and I'm, I'm gonna for sure. I'd like to do a really cool alien transformation. I hope you guys can see the miracle that I'm building. I might need to keep doing it. Um, where's the jackal from Freaking? Oh, cool. The jackal? That's crazy. Yeah, that was really creepy. Cool tips. I might need to go over some of this with foundation afterwards. Just to have it like slightly cleaner edges. How are these holes looking? So this one I want to give a bit more. Oops, oh no, wrong one, no, how do I do that? Uh, you know, there's nothing like dipping your highlight brush into your contour brush. Where'd you go? There you go, you're the one, you're the one that I want. Shoo bop, shoo bop, ooh, ooh, ooh. 
one that I want. Shoe bop, shoe bop, shoe bop. Ooh, ooh, ooh. One of me. Oh, yes, indeed. Ah. Fuck. Uh, uh, uh. What you guys saying? It's okay, my, my keep your, let me keep my hand, please. <laughs> No, I need my hands. Uh, Sean, hey, what's up, Sean? Welcome to Transformation Tuesday. What was the most difficult character to put on myself? Um, hmm. I get asked that a lot, and I the only one I can ever think of that was really the most challenging for me was doing the uh, the Queen of Hearts, and it was because it was like the deck of cards, Queen of Hearts, not the uh, the character from the movie, and so it was mostly a ton of detailed drawing on my whole upper body and it was probably one of my first times like really taking on a transformation that big that had to do with painting my body instead of mostly just my face and I had to like paint my right shoulder in detail with my right hand and it was just like it took about four and a half hours mm -hmm. not being live so it was wasn't necessarily challenging it just like took the most amount of time it's maybe a little bit more tedious um you can pull it off i got painted once i was so scared but it turned out so pretty it was a corset but it did look great whole body i don't know if i could do that either oh but you're so pretty and an awesome artist you probably can thank you christina <laughs> thank you mm. already done my first coffee my first coffee. Somebody asked me to paint something I thought was inappropriate. Hmm. That's an interesting question too. I'm actually trying to think about that. I I honestly can't think of anything specifically. Like nothing honestly nothing really stands out, I guess, is to me nothing's too appropriate. <laughs> but uh I'm talking about jilting again. Why are you jilting? Why are you jilting? I don't know. Oh, Mystique from X-Men. I've done Mystique from X-Men, just not like full body. But yeah, that one was more challenging too. Did I lose you guys on Facebook? I lose you guys trying to reconnect. What's happening? I don't know. Guys on YouTube, you guys are all still here, right? I don't know what happened to uh, Facebook feed. And we're back. I'm sorry guys, I'm sorry I lost you. I don't know what happened. I don't know what happened. But you're back now. Everybody there? Everybody okay? So to answer the last question, I think it was, uh, if I ever painted anything that I thought was inappropriate or has anybody ever asked me? Uh, not really. I, uh, I can't say anything too inappropriate has ever really come up. Uh, okay, now I'm just trying to figure out like how many holes I want on myself. Let me put another one in. Um, this is going to be in the picture. I don't know. We'll do it like this. Video is not working. Is it working now, guys? Are you all back? Are you guys there? I don't know what's happening. What is happening? Hello again. Hi, Irene. I'm going to go ahead and just uh, see if I can try and share the video again, if this is working. Nope. Let's see. 
it's uh, not working in my favor today. Are you guys still there? Sorry guys, I have such a crappy connection today. Okay, it's good now? Let me just try and... Uh, I think it's frozen. I just tried sharing the video again. Maybe that might uh, help. I don't know. Okay. I don't know why it's frozen. I'm going to keep going. Okay. Hey, Jason. Okay. I'm going to keep going. Okay. Where's next? I also want to put some on my face, too. I just want to get like a good, even amount going over here, you know? Um. It's all about getting that sort of enough kind of balance everywhere. Here. I think we're gonna have to come over here. I'm gonna get a big one. Uh, thank you for sharing, uh, Kirsty. Okay, I'm gonna go over and move that back in. Okay, there's. Um, it's frozen on a very cute picture of me. <laughs> That's great. Uh, did I get a good report last week or this week? Uh, I guess you're referring to my doctor visits. Um, yeah, not really, <laughs> to be completely honest. No need to really get into that again. Not uh, not horrible news, just no good news. Hey. hey. Uh, YouTube's working great apparently, guys, so maybe you guys should switch on over there. Look at all these O's. It was a That's really funny. What am I doing today? I am creating these holes all over my body and I'm gonna have creepy bugs crawling out of them. That's what I'm doing. So I think I have to sort of change the angle of this one. Where's that? Focus. There. I'm gonna get a little bit this one. Ooh, I just got hungry. You didn't bring any snacks with me today. Q-tip. Yeah, super creepy. I'm trying to like embrace Halloween coming up. I can't believe Halloween's already coming up. Like, I mean, it's like a, a love-hate thing, you know? Like, I, part of me is really excited. The other part is like, no! I mean, I'm that much closer to winter. I really, really hate winter, guys. I don't know why I still live here in cold Canada. Especially in Montreal. Why do I do it? This is cool. 
I look like the girl with the pearl earring. <laughs> okay, I'll take it. Um, what lipstick am I wearing? Thank you for asking and noticing, Ellie. Uh, I'm wearing one from my uh, brand that I'm launching like any day now, guys. One of mine and my mom's lipsticks. And it's coming out, like, officially, I think it's officially going to be launched mid-October. And we're so excited for you guys to finally have it available. So, yes, it's one of mine. This one's my favorite, like, everyday color. I love it. Okay. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Peace out there, guys. Everybody have a nice weekend. Anybody do anything interesting this weekend? Anybody have any new TV shows I should watch since Game of Thrones is over now? Well, I guess, actually, better question is, who's going to be watching American Horror Story tonight with me? What? I'm very, very excited to watch. I need my horror fix. I really don't know what to expect with this season. Are you in the lead? Uh, so we'll let you know details soon once we launch the lipstick and you guys will be able to, uh, to get them as soon as they launch. Okay, let me see. I'm feeling very holy. Holy, holy cow. Just gonna clean up. Uh, thank you, Homer. Hey, Jared, thank you. And here I'm thinking about the mistakes. Please let us know once it is. Absolutely, Elizabeth. As soon we're like as soon as we launch, it's gonna be available all over Canada and then like shortly afterwards everywhere else. It's just uh, one thing at a time. This process. Uh, all right. What about American Horror Story, Kirsten? Are you gonna watch it? Who's watching American Horror Story tonight? And this is all American Horror Story inspired. Let's see, I'm getting there's dust everywhere. Okay, how's this looking? It's time. Put some holes in my face. Oh no, I did it again, <laughs> guys. I'm the worst. I'm the worst. I keep dipping my highlighting brush into the black. But I can't. But I can't. Okay. Let's try this again. All right. What do you think? Like right smack in the middle of my chin. Um. Just so we can help everyone. Oh wow, that's so nice of you, Jason. That's amazing. Good for you. Everybody should try and do their part, I guess, to help out as much as they can. It's it's unbelievable what's going on in the world. Um, just trying to think of where I want this to go. Oh well, you know what? <laughs> I got a spot there already, so maybe I should. Yeah, let's do one here. Throw in some water. Yeah, I'm full of holes. Everyone hashtag holy cow. Holy cow. Mm -hmm. 
and cool. Oh, I love the hearts, guys. Keep showing me all those hearts. Smash that like button for me, guys. Show me all the love. Yes, yes, the hearts. Yeah, I love the love. Oh, so much love, guys. I love it. I love it. Do, 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 do. Maybe I should make some bows calling out of like my nose. <laughs> those holes. Use my natural holes, my mouth. No. Like a spider. <laughs> Imagine just legs crawling out of my mouth. Oh, look at those legs, guys. Smash that like button. I love it. I love it. Show the love. Show me some love. Yes, I love it. Ah, like the wah face. What? Wah. Oh, you guys are so awesome. You guys are so awesome. warm on the face. I don't think I'm going to put any on this side because I want the focus. Maybe I'll put like one here on the cheek. Maybe. I don't know. Because I, I don't know how I'm going to take the picture yet, you know? I guess I should just do a bunch and I'll probably take a few pictures also sort of at all different angles is what I'm trying to say. I can't talk anymore. I need more coffee. More coffee. I like the little ones for some reason. I don't know why. The little ones are like oh, cute, cute little holes. Huh? See what coming out of my mouth like a, a like a bug? Because that's what I was, I was thinking I should do that. Like a spider like leg coming out of my mouth. A bug. Like, yeah, so I can get the legs here. Oh. I definitely look like I have some sort of infection. <laughs> That's for sure. Okay, let's add a few holes on the other side. And my nose, yeah. Gosh, I squashed my brush or something. Uh, my hands are getting covered in Yes, I am out of coffee. I am all out. 
you. I'm terrified of spiders. I am terrified of spiders. It's funny, like, you know, bug, bugs itself, like, don't really bother me. It's really just spiders. Cannot deal with spiders. Um, and even stranger is that the, um, the smaller the spider, the creepier they are for me. I don't know why. Like, I'd rather, I'd rather sit with a huge spider than, like, a really tiny one. Because, like, the tiny one, you don't know where it goes. You don't know what it's crawling into. <laughs> no, I'm okay for the coffee. For now, anyways. No, I should be fine. Okay. It's time to look good. I hope so. Spiders are the worst. They're always biting me. Are they? I like, ugh, I can't, I can't deal. Oh. I keep splashing my brush down. I'm not taking very good care of it. Um. So curious to see how this turns out, because I really like doing 3D bugs. I'm just kind of so I'm really excited about these holes. I didn't think I was gonna like quite get these, but they seem to be working. I think it's uh, it's turning out okay. Wrong one. Wrong one. There's a big hole in my face. So imagine like a big worm like crawling out of that one. Ugh. I'm already getting creeped out. Mm. Mm. So what do you guys think? Any more? Comments for me, where else should I put some of these holes? Should I put them on my forehead? I guess I need to have at least one on my forehead. Okay, I've got four on this side. Only two here. Maybe okay, I'm going to do one up here. Might have to be sort of the reverse. I think. Okay. Uh, no, I'm gonna do this one. Cool. Cool. No, I need a clean Q-tip. Let's see now. No, I'm trying to think of like the American Horror Story theme song. I don't think I'm doing a very good job though. I kind of like that this one's not really perfectly round. Hmm. 
Hey, Zin, how you doing? Welcome. Where's the hubby and Tay Tay? have to use some foundation for that. Line up a little bit. Um, Yay, it's working. Good, so good. Did I lose connection again? Oh, they're on the way, good. Is Tay Tay waking up from her nap? <laughs> Tay Tay, I feel like Tay Tay's always napping. And we're back. Hello. Hello from Germany. Hello, Bianca. Um, let's put one on the side of my neck, maybe. You're so excited, Carrie. Oh my god, I'm so excited. It's coming together. Good. Thanks, Katie. Yeah, I hope it's gonna be a good season. I'm like a little concerned the show is getting like a little redundant. Like today, knowing it's coming out today is the first time I'm actually like really excited about it. I haven't been particularly that excited for some reason, which is very unlike me. Hope it's gonna be a good one. Hey yo! <laughs> Michelle, hey Carly, yay, Transformation Tuesday. I hope your last treatment went good and your spirits are high. Thank you, Rochelle. Yes, my treatments are done. It was fine. It was the last one and I don't have to deal with it. Hopefully ever again. <laughs> I think there should be like blood coming out of us, but this is interesting. Alright guys. Do you think I need any more holes? I'm going to take a little step back just to show you guys what I've got. Am I, am I missing anywhere? Should I get started on the bugs now? Like, I can always add, I can always add a hole later if I feel like it's missing. And I don't want bugs coming. See, the thing is I don't want enough holes that I don't have bugs coming out of every single hole. You know, like I, I, I gotta have some, some balance, you know? So, all right. I think I'm gonna leave it as is for now. I'm pretty, I'm pretty happy with it. I might have to do a little bit of cleaning up though. Um, some water. Now, Olivia, I was doing treatments. Uh, so last week I posted a whole video on a thyroid condition that I'm dealing with right now. I was having treatments done for my eye to try and bring down the swelling. Uh, what am I doing? Actually. That'll do. That'll do. And let's grab a 
Alice. Thanks, Elizabeth. Um, can I have, have one coming out of my cleavage? Yeah. Well, that's, I think, why I sort of saved, like, the little hole down here for it. I was going to kind of have it, like, crawling down into my cleavage, actually. That was sort of my plan. Um, I need a little something with the elbow bone. Okay. <laughs> okay, so now I'm just using some concealer and I'm just going to try and clean up some of these holes. No, my hands are dirty. Nah. Shoot, it's really stupid. That was stupid. I can use my fingers to blend. Blend, blend, blend. There we go. A little more, a little more death. Definition. <laughs> Thank you, Renard. <laughs> You know, so if you actually, if you, if you have an iPhone and you ask Siri, um, I see a little silhouette of a man, and she'll sing like the rest of the song. <laughs> and it's actually really funny. I, I, yeah, I enjoy it. Everybody should go do it. Oh no, I'm seriously, I'm making marks all over myself. No, I'm not painting my skin that color. I'm not copying um, the picture on YouTube exactly. It was more of an inspiration for this look today. Because in the picture, it almost looks like it's like shredded skin. That's not really what I wanted to do. I wanted to like literally do like holes. Um, so yeah, this picture here is really just for inf uh, inspiration for me. Excuse me. Well, thank you. You guys on... Facebook, it's uh, a picture I have here up on, on YouTube. Uh, I think it'd be cool if blood was coming out of a few, if the bugs got killed or something and blood was dripping from the holes. That is cool. Tay Tay's cooking. Is Tay Tay making me something? <laughs> Your absolutely best song ever. <laughs> yeah, so good. Seriously, guys, go ask Siri. I see a little silhouette of a man. Tay Tay's here. Tay Tay. Tay Tay, what's cooking? What's you cooking? Making lunch for all of us? Ah, uh, look at the love guides. I love those hearts. I still have so much black on me and my hands here. I'm so worried it's gonna smudge. Hey Jordan, what am I doing today? 
I am putting these holes in my on myself and I'm gonna have bugs crawling out of them. Some creepy crawlies. Look at all that love, yeah. Love the love. Chicken couscous salad. Oh my God, it sounds so good. <laughs> Portion control is a problem. God, when are you guys, my crazy family, when are you guys having me over for dinner? My crazy family, my Facebook family. She's starting to get dirty. I should clean it. Okay, I gotta do something because I'm gonna make a mess everywhere. Desperate times call for desperate measures. All right. Makeup wipes because I'm getting it all over the place now. Of course, the wipe's a little dry. Big soapy. There we go. Like new. I can't wait, Tay Tay. You know the, the term abortion control in this campaign. No, <laughs> dude, I'm just erasing couscous. This isn't how some retirements cook. And the whoops, that's so funny. Okay, I'm gonna keep this wipe. Oh, actually, let me. Nope, nope, that was not a good idea. Where's my brush cleaner? The importance of clean, keeping your brushes clean, guys, otherwise it just smudges everywhere. There we go. Some reason everything feels sticky now. Let's get this some water. <laughs> Any more? Oh my god. Oh no, my last Kleenex. Guys, I wasn't prepared today. <laughs> this is not good on me. Okay, that'll do. That'll do. Where's more concealer? Another squat. Okay. Gotta continue highlighting these. Oh, thank you guys so much for sharing. I really appreciate you sharing the video. 
If you haven't done so, please share it. Let your friends know. Get everybody else in here. Let's get the party started. Uh, I can't remember if I did this one already. No, I'm doing it again. <laughs> I think I did do this. Hola. Oh, I love the hearts, guys. I love the hearts. really getting that like depth now you see it even with that that highlight around it oh my god it looks so cool it almost looks like it's sticking out um hablas espanol no <laughs> what buggies you didn't do i don't know i got like a little bit of everything i think like you know like a centipede and a spider and like a beetle something with wings, a worm, yeah, you guys tell me because for me I'm only like really afraid of spiders and like bugs really don't bother me so I'd love to know like what you guys think like what kind of bugs do you find scary? Maybe earwigs? I'm not afraid of them, but they totally creep me out. They're just gross. So maybe I'll do some earwigs. <laughs> Thanks, Sushi. Sushi to Luigi. Your name is awesome. <laughs> sushi. Hey, Carly. Happy Tuesday. Hi, Elaine. Happy Tuesday to you. Earwigs. Totally, yeah. Earwigs are really gross. We're going to do some earwigs. What else, guys? What are some creepy crawlies that frighten you? Ticks, bed bugs, and spiders. Yeah, I totally feel that. I'm not sure if I left enough of a highlight around some of these. A little bit more. Please. Please. That's a good one. These things are so small, though. I don't even know how to draw fully. In enough detail. <laughs> yeah, spiders definitely. But I've done a lot of spider looks before, so not a lot, but I just don't want to make the whole look spiders. Because I've done that already. So we're definitely going to do at least one spider. Dragonfly. Dragonflies are too pretty though. I love dragonflies. We're going for creepies in. We're going for creepy. Give me some uh, some creepier stuff. Dragonflies are they're pretty. Fire ants. Oh my god. Yeah, I should do a few like ants crawling. That reminds me of like Salvador Dali, uh, one of his movies there with like the ants and the palm and oh my god, it was so creepy.
Shelly's your older s sister? I don't even see her on here. I can't see if people join in, like their names. You'll see their names because you're friends with them. But hello, she uh, Shelly's, am I saying it right? Shelly's, hello, Bernard's older sister. <laughs> Oh, yeah, wasps are good, and they're doing something with, like, wasps or bees or something in the, in the series, I think, because that was also in some of the trailers. Cosmetic Kate, we have a new subscriber. Thank you so much for subscribing. Cosmetic Kate. <laughs> Guys, when you subscribe to my channel on YouTube, while you're watching the video, you will see your name appear very large and big and a little shocking on the screen. Go check it out. It's really fun. It scared you, of course. It always scares. It's so much fun. It scares me too. Warner's Brain, mwah, hello, Warner's Brain. <laughs> Ooh, a scorpion. Ooh, that is creepy. Mm. Yeah, maybe I could do a scorpion. I'm trying to think of things that have like multiple legs though, you know, like that's what for me anyways is super creepy. Hi Lise, hello! Um, today I am painting holes all over my body and I'm going to have little bugs start to crawl out of them. A big hello cry from London, Ontario. Hi, Pamela. Do 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 Like, for me, my nightmares are things like, you know, sitting down to do makeup and realizing my brushes aren't clean. Like, that's a nightmare to me. <laughs> the creepy stuff I'm kind of into. <clears throat> I don't know. Are you going to have bugs crawl out of those holes? Yes, there will be bugs crawling out of those holes. Um, the way our whole family is watching this. <laughs> it's amazing. Worms. Yes, I'm definitely going to do some worms. Centipedes for sure. That's it. So I'm thinking centipedes. I'm thinking a worm. I'm thinking earwigs. I'm thinking a spider. Like that's sort of what I'm, I'm feeling for these, for these holes here. Highlighting them still. Okay, that highlight. 
you know, it's things like this that bring all new meaning to highlighting and contouring. <laughs> this is my kind of highlighting and contouring. Do 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 Liz, this is um, this is inspired by American Horror Story coming out tonight, and I was watching the trailer, and there was this like brief image of a person's back with these holes on it and what looked like bugs crawling out of it, and I thought that's super creepy. That would be a great transformation, and so that's how I came up with this. <laughs> I don't know why my brush is still sticky. I don't know why it's driving me crazy. I have two more, no, three more holes to highlight. And I can try, I can use some of my other non sticky brushes. How long do I keep it on after I'm done? Just long enough to take pictures and then I'm in the shower. So it comes off uh, pretty quickly. Pretty quickly. I guess you guys can't really see my shoulder here. Everyone, I don't think our sister happens. The one thing I keep really wanting to do actually is go through like a drive through at like Tim Hortons or something and, uh, and order something. I feel like that would be really funny. But uh, I haven't thought about the grocery store. That's really funny, too. You know, the thing is, the transformations I do, I do these transformations for pictures. So it's done in just the right kind of way with just the right kind of lighting that it reads best in pictures. And it doesn't quite read the same in person. So I would have to do it differently so that it reads well in person you know if that makes any sense so if, for Halloween I usually take a different approach on people for all my clients because um, they have to look right in person and not just for pictures but like even like a look like this it, it's, it looks totally different in person than it does uh, actually on camera it's like the difference of like you know everyday makeup and theater makeup it's if that makes any sense to anybody and if i did it the way i would do it to look in person it wouldn't read as right on pictures so it's like a you know, juggling act a bit, try to get it right. Can I see the text in the final product? Yeah, me too. Um, I didn't come out saying go to the store like that and schedule it. Yeah, it'd be fun. Again, like, I, I want to look at it like my, I don't know. It just looks different in person. <laughs> Okay, I don't know why I'm so thirsty. 
and I can't quite quench my thirst, I'm ready to start doing some creepy crawly bugs. Come on, get some bugs. Hey, Selena, how you doing? Now I have to look at my pictures again. So this I pretty much did. I didn't even look at the picture I found here of the hole. <laughs> and now I'm literally looking at pictures of bugs. Oh my god. Oh, I'm already kind of grossed out. I said I didn't have a thing with bugs, but like the pictures I found were just, were just really gross. Oh my god. The worms. There's the centipede. Oh, I found a little beetle. Maybe I'll do that. Ugh, okay, I think I have to start with this, like, centipede thing. I want it to be dark like it is in this picture up here. Um, did I get the bottle online? Oh, this? No, I, a friend gave it to me. Okay, I think I'm going to start with this, like, centipede thing. Especially because that's what I see on her. Oh, my God, what's going on with my thing? Did I do something to it? Did I lock the screen? I use my iPad, guys, to sort of uh, follow pictures, but, like, something was wrong with it. Hey, the hearts! I love the hearts! Um, okay, let me see. That's not my white. Sorry guys, I have to, I'm missing my, where did my white go? Oh, here we go. Here we go. So I'm opening up my, my Mayron face paints. These ones, the Paradise Paints, which are awesome. I'm mostly going to be working with black and white, though, because I want it to be dark and creepy. I don't want there to be too much color. Because Again, I'm sort of trying to get this inspiration from the image, and, like, in the image, the, the bugs are, like, almost black. Like, you can't really tell, but I want to have some highlight. Okay, let's see, let's see. brushes but I also want to be able to read in, enough that we can uh, add shadows and highlights to okay I'm just gonna shot there's my waka hey Vaughn hello Hello, Jordeo. Shanta. Shanta's making me coffee. <laughs> Do I have a uh, trypophobia? No, I don't. I, if anything, I have arachnophobia. But uh, I'm doing this for American Horror Story. So the picture that you see right there is taken from uh, from the trailer for American Horror Story for the opening sequence. And I thought it would be really creepy to try and recreate something like that. I think that. Uh, I say it right, trypophobia. Trypophobia is like that, like fear of holes, essentially, like multiple holes. Um, seems like Swiss cheese. <laughs> okay. All right. Seems like Swiss cheese. I'll take it. I do kind of look like Swiss cheese. It's really funny. Uh, 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 so I'm watching you. I wonder what colors to use on my nails. What is my favorite? My favorite nail polish color is always black. That's my, my go-to. I love black nail polish, especially this time of year or something super, super dark, uh, like a deep, deep red, like a blood red. But yeah, I like black. During the summer, I, I'll, I'll wear nude. <laughs> hole to start with. Uh, I think I want this
<laughs> we're at the start. And I've bugged my study. I'm trying to do like a centipede. Not sure. Got like too many legs. School's back in session. Oh, oh my goodness. I can't believe it's back to school already. I don't have to do it, but it still kind of makes me like cringe a little bit back to school. I still like have that thought and feeling remembering. Sorry if you guys can't quite, can you, oh, you guys can't see them too, I'm zoomed in. Okay, I got the first one, which doesn't quite look like anything yet. <laughs> it needs some shadows and some highlights. So I'm going to take some white. That's not showing anymore. Not the, the highlights, not quite reading. from the camera here because it's not it's too far anyways I hope it's reading the bug shadows how's that looking here's the oh yeah oh you can see it cool yeah okay Cool. Ow, my toe. No, I'm stuck. <laughs> I literally just rolled over my foot. Okay, I got the first little centipede guy done. Great. Let's move on to the next. <clears throat> okay, so then I was thinking of having like a worm half coming out of this one and then like the other half coming out of that one. Or should it be like going into it like coming out and in or should it go under and out so like the head popping up here and maybe the tail coming out there yeah that's what I'm feeling that's what I'm feeling hi Diana <laughs> I'm sorry delete um 
and she had maggots as well. Oh my god, creepy. Um, why does school make you cringe? Oh, I hated going back to school. Like, it's just that, like, you know, summer's over, going back to school. It's like, no! Okay. Wormy time. Worms. See, I wanted this to also kind of, I wanted them to all sort of be in black, so it was all, like, dark and shadowy, but maybe I can do a worm with just, like, enough highlight in it. Maybe it just has to be kind of... I like a gray worm in honor of <laughs> Game of Thrones. Gray worm. <laughs> That's what I'll do. I thought this would turn so cool. It's looking very blue. Yes, my prayers do go out to the East Coast. I, 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 I can't believe what's going on. It's really, really horrible. Everybody, please send their prayers. Send their, hit that like button and send the love and hearts, please. Everybody, we all need support these times. There we go, the hearts, guys. I love the hearts. You can't see the future sending love. Thanks for the love. I don't know why you can't see it. Is it like you can't see the camera at all? You can't see me? Right. Um, <clears throat> but learning is important as well. Without it, many things would be unknown. That's true. This is have you ever wondered about what the green part of the flower between the petals and the stem is called? See, that's one of those things that I learned in school that I don't remember now <laughs> anymore. Because I guess it wasn't something that I needed for everyday life. And I guess what always frustrated me about school is I never felt that I was... I was learning what everybody thought I was supposed to learn, whereas... I would have rather learn everyday things that I need to know how to do now, like pay bills or change a tire or, you know, things that I actually need to learn about. And I, I just felt, I don't know, school is never for me. I never felt I was learning what I wanted to be learning, I guess. Um, sometimes I always like to take all the arts and crafts classes. But um, no, school's important. Uh, holy moly, thank you, Brian, for waiting for somebody to make that uh, joke. 
um, and also I remember being in school and teachers always say like, well, you better learn this math now because you're not going to have a calculator in your pocket forever to always use. And they were wrong. I have a calculator in my pocket all the time. I don't know. It's things like that. Yes, school is important. I know it's important. I just never really liked it. I'm there with you, Carly. Thanks, Sean. Tay Tay. Oh yeah, those spots are really weird. Like weird of me out. Weirding you out. <laughs> I'm like, cool, Jessica, that's the point. I hated math. I felt half of it was no use. Weirding you out. Well that's it. I, I always hated I, I, I there was a lot of those programs that I, I I really hated. I didn't understand when I was gonna use half the stuff. And then high school is over and you're thrown into the real world. And I literally felt lost. Like, okay, I don't know how to do regular things now. And these are the things that I would have liked to learn in school. You know, shortly out of high school, I, I moved out on my own. And then I had to learn about paying bills and learn about paying rent and like how the whole system works. And, you know, it's, there's so many other challenges in life that are important to know about. I mean, yes, we need to know basic math, we need to know basic geography, and of course history, but like there were some things that I just felt like, why am I learning this? Got a 3D effect going. <laughs> My school didn't teach you that, Selena. I don't know. I always felt that I was learning things that were unnecessary for me. It's too bad. Maybe times are different now. I don't know if they're they're teaching these things in school or what now, but I would recommend it. <laughs> oh cool, look at the creepy crawlies, creepy crawlies. Okay, <laughs> now that you guys just got a good shot of the goods. Hi, Chris. Um, okay, I miss things here. Um, yes, I feel my kids are clueless. <laughs> Jessica. <laughs> I'm a Google girl. If I want to know something, I Google it. I'm self-taught in a lot of things. Me too, Diana. I mean, guys, like I'm self-taught doing this stuff. You know, I, I'm, I totally believe and teaching yourself things. And I believe that if there's something you really want to know about, you can put yourself out there enough to learn it if there's something you really feel strongly enough about. And that's it. I've been very much like a learn on my own type of person. If I don't want to learn it, then I I just don't. I don't know. Um, job I applied for offers of 401k, 
and healthcare benefits and I had to go into that interview. I could ask questions about if I'm interested in it and we never learned anything about that in school. So I looked stupid. Very good point, Elijah. Like as soon as you're out of school, you have to start going into interviews and applying for jobs. Like I wish I learned how to properly write a resume to hand out to somebody. I wish I learned how to prepare for an interview and know what kind of questions they're going to ask you about and like how to answer them properly. Like I'll, I'll never forget my very first interview and the question they ask in every interview, they ask you, what, what do you feel your strengths are? And what do you think your weaknesses are? And I mean, strengths fine. You can like kind of grab something, but like when somebody asks you what your weaknesses are, you know, like it's almost a trick question. Uh, my punctuality, like, you know, like what do you, nobody wants to say like, I'm never on time because nobody's going to hire you. Like you actually have to think of something that will benefit you as a weakness and like nobody taught me that and I remember feeling so stuck and thinking like oh my weakness um I care too much <laughs> like I, I totally use that it was the first thing I can think of I said my care my weakness is that I probably care too much and I might spend like it was a customer service job I, I care too much about the client and like their needs and what they're going to need and I just care too much and maybe I, I, I devote too much of my time to the to the customer. <laughs> like that was the only thing I could think of, which you know was like a good and bad thing, and you know oh something I'm learning on. <laughs> Anyways, I'll I'll never forget that. Right, let's find another bug. Oh yeah, I said I wanted the worm to come down out of this hole. Okay, what's gonna come out of this hole? Okay, I missed something there. Shoot, I forgot that's what I wanted to do with the worm, but the worm's up here now. I don't want to do another worm. I could, I guess. I could do another worm. Another worm just crawling down? Or like another... I guess I could do another worm. I don't want to do two worms right next to each other. Um, okay, I want to do an earwig. That, I know. I think I'm going to actually just like draw the earwig and not make it coming out of a hole because I don't want them all to look like they're coming out of a hole. What fun would that be, right? Uh, have a different words. Oh, this was the question I was using. What they didn't teach you how to no. Selena, where do you live that you actually get all this stuff in your in your school? Because we did not learn this in Canada, eh? You know, like I learned how to write a report on a book. Like, when am I? When have I ever had to do that again? I've never had to read something and write about it. Like, I would have. Anyways, I'm not gonna talk about and get into the uh, mishaps of uh, school and how they, the system that they really should have been using. Okay, I have to flip this around because flippy floppy, flip. Flip, whoop, down, flip, flip, good. Okay, now it looks like he's crawling. Oh, I'm gonna put this one right over here. Oh, you guys can't see, eh? I have to like, I'm trying to find a way to lower this a little bit so you guys can see more of what's, what's happening down here. Hang on. Okay, there you go. Oh my god, these things are so creepy. I had the same struggles in Romania with going to school. Luckily I have parents that helped me learn when I really needed that information. But I do believe it should be taught in school. Yeah, exactly. Like I, I, I'm, you know, I'm obviously fortunate that my parents taught me whatever I need to learn, I guess. But I feel like this, like school itself would be a very different experience if we actually if they actually really prepared us now for real life things you know i guess like unless you know like you're gonna be some sort of chemist or something you need to know some of those certain things but i guess it's hard to know at a young age what you're gonna do with your life so they try to just teach you everything but you know, I knew from a very young age I was not going to be some sort of scientist or a doctor or anything, you know? I knew that I was going to do something creative.
Oh my god, I'm already grossed out. I forgot how much I really hate earwigs. I totally forgot. This is really gross. I'm not sure I made it big enough, but they're small, so... I do homeschool, but the information is in the units in my schoolwork. I'm starting to question if they are skipping it. Probably, Selena. It's uh, I I don't I don't know anybody who who learned, had the opportunity to learn that kind of stuff. It's you're very fortunate if if you do. I think. Oh God, the creepy legs. It's all at the legs. Why are the legs so creepy? that leg too long. Oh, I gave him like bunny ears by accident. <laughs> that was not what I wanted. Okay, I'm missing some uh, some comments here. I think. Um, what are the creepy crawlers? Is it from a movie? So Chris, it's inspired by uh, American Horror Story coming out tonight. And there was an image that I saw in the like the intro opening credits, and there was a shot of a person's back with holes and bugs crawling out of it, and that was my inspiration for today. Um, how long have I been doing body art, and how long did it take you to perfect the art? Uh, Diana, I have been doing this for about five years now, and I'm still perfecting it. <laughs> I never thought I'd become a school bus driver. <laughs> That's interesting, that one. Um, so yeah, I still, I still learn uh, with every transformation that I do. So I can't say that I've perfected it because you know today this was like my first time doing uh, holes on myself. So that it's it's new for me, and I'm sure the next time I do it, maybe I will have perfected it better. But I'm always learning. I'm going to use it as a shadow. Um, oh, no, I'm missing all stuff here. Um, it depends on what, what books and teachers gave kids to a brief rundown for the ideas, but not explaining it as they should. This is the bottom line of school. And most of the stuff matched for work to homeschool. Uh, interesting. Okay. Back to bugs. The bugs. The creepy crawlers. The creepy crawlers. Good. God. It just came back on my screen. I, you know, I, I, I'm eating my own words because I totally said that bugs really don't creep me out that much, but I, I really forgot about earwigs. They, they're, earwigs are the worst. Oh. More white, more white. 
Okay, Got another one. Hi, Irene. So today I'm drawing holes all over myself and I'm having bugs crawl out of them. Let's fix this camera again. I don't know how to do the whole bug thing. I hate centipedes. <laughs> oh, you have centipedes. You have centipedes? Oh my god. I don't know if I have one. <laughs> That's no fun. Um, okay, I need a smaller brush. I feel like this one. <clears throat> I'm going to use this one. Oh. oh, you hate centipedes, yeah. Oh, God. Gross. June bugs are icky. Yeah, I did nursing and loved it. It was hard not to get attached to the patients, and that's the first thing I tell you uh, in nursing. Uh, how do you not get attached? Plus, working in this field, it's... <coughs> hard because I'm in the medical field to see a lot of people who don't have money for medical needs. Oh my god, I'm sure that must be hard. You know, I, I would probably get attached. Like, I'm attached to you guys. <laughs> you know? I can't imagine being uh, a nurse. Hi, Kai, thanks for replying to my message. I'm excited to see what you do today. I just made it here. I'm cleaning my car. Sorry for the parking. I'm using the outside furniture. I can feel it, so you're getting hard. Oh my god, Melissa, I'm so sorry. Please, uh, Stay safe and be well. Stay inside. I think I got my results back. Got my eye. I've been praying for you. Oh, thank you so much, Jenny. Um, uh, not really any results back on my eye. It's more results on my, my thyroid. And essentially my thyroid is still kind of out of whack, which is going to keep my eye a little out of whack. But at this point now, uh, it's really just a waiting game. Oh, I said eye and I got something in my eye. Right now it's just a waiting game to find out... Uh, if or when I'll need surgery on my eye. Um, there, there's not much more I can do about it at this point. Like it is what it is. And it's, I'm either going to have the surgery or I'm not kind of thing. It's, it's going to end up being just sort of one or the other. And that, uh, yeah, apparently I'll only find out in another three to six months. Unfortunately, I'm having a hard time getting my meds right. It's very, very difficult. All right, guys, we have another creepy crawly. We got a little, get a little uh, earwiggy guy. Well, I'm not sure if you can totally tell exactly what kind of bug it is, which is frustrating, but at least it is, uh, at least it's 3D and it looks kind of cool. I might need to highlight it a bit more. Yeah, I can't thank you guys enough uh, for last week and all the love that you showed on my last post. It was not an easy post for me to make, and you guys were so supportive, so thank you so much. <clears throat> oh my god, I'm missing things here. Uh, yeah, that's probably what they came. You should add a cockroach as well. Cockroach. Yeah, I should have done a cockroach. Um, as a subject change, I can't wait for American Horror Story to come out tonight. Me too, but unfortunately do, they do not promote on oh, Romania, so I have to wait until tomorrow to see it on a website, hopefully. Okay, well, I won't spoil anything for you, Rose. <laughs> and one hole with maggots filled in it. Many is a suggestion. Oh my god, I'd have to do another... Well, maybe I can get like a few, few maggots coming out of one. <laughs> Want to know an eye fact? I would love to know an eye fact, please. Uh, also, okay, thank you, Maintenance. No worries. We'll get it this weekend. I'm so scared. Oh no, Melissa, please stay safe. 
uh, what's my heart rate, watch caffeine intake, which will make it higher stress. Absolutely, Diana. So right now I'm, I'm seriously controlling my stress. Uh, coffee, I can only handle about like one and a half cups a day. I can't handle more than that. So I'm definitely watching my caffeine intake. And uh, my heart rate is okay. I would keep it, I, so far it's the only thing that I didn't quite get in this awful disease is like a bad heart rate. Um, so that's, uh, that's fortunate. They're looking good. Um, what do they have in Milan? I tried Levo and Nature Care and then work. I was diagnosed with Hashimoto's thyroid sucks. I'm praying for you to get me that's right. Thank you, Melissa. I feel for you too. So I've, I've now switched from hyperthyroid to hypothyroid because of the taposol that I'm on. So they had me on too much. So now I've reduced my intake. So hopefully try to level it out. I've had Shimoto's thyroiditis, so I know how hard it is to get that darn thyroid levels right. I keep saying, thank you, Jenny. It is, it's awful. It's like one of the hardest things to try to uh, get control over. <sighs> Hanging in there. Loving the bugs. Looks super cool. Thank you, Melissa. Me too, Jenny. It's awful. I, I feel for both of you. I really do. Hell yes, another stream. Yeah, Albert. Welcome. Have I ever done Marilyn Monroe art? Uh, yeah, well, if you look at my like my profile picture on my page is sort of my Marilyn Monroe uh, art that I did. Ooh, what time is it? Okay, I've been on for two hours, guys. I'm gonna need to use a, a bathroom break soon, but I'm I'm gonna try and get one more bug in before I go. Um, because yeah, all this water is going through me. The whites of your eyes are called the Sierra or the Sierra coat. Oh, there's a fun fact, guys. The Sierra. Hmm. Okay, another bug. I gotta get a spider going at some point. I just don't know where. Oh, I gotta do my face. I don't have any bugs on my face. I gotta have a bug on my face. <laughs> Oh, that's right. I sort of said that maybe I'd have a spider coming out of my mouth, but then how would I do it? Mm. With my mouth open then and legs crawling out or I don't know. That seems like way more work than I want to do right now because I'd have to sort of redraw my mouth, I think. So I don't think I'm going to do that. Uh, but where can I get the spider crawling out? I'm gonna just put just the spider regular here on my neck or something. And get a maybe a beetle. Yeah, it's definitely gonna be a beetle. What are the other things that you guys said I should do? We did a worm, we did an earwig, we did a centipede. Although my centipede and my earwig kind of look the same. <laughs> oh well. Uh, I think I'm gonna put like a beetle on my chin but whatever I do see that's the problem with my face now is that whatever I do on my face like that means I have to pose like this or I have to pose like this so that's why I'm a little tempted to not do anything on my face unless it's my forehead that might be easy enough maybe I can do it on my forehead a beetle um I don't know uh, the spider can walk in or out of your nose. Again, like I'm concerned about doing uh, one of these bugs on my face because then I can't pose. That's like then deciding, okay, that means I have to pose like this or I have to pose like this because of the shadowing that's going to cause. Um, I think, where can I put one? I have this nice empty space right here that I'm kind of tempted to put a spider like crawling up my neck here. I think I want to do that. I could also just have it like right here on the boob, just like crawl it out. Um, hmm. oh, I didn't even take a picture of the spider. That's so weird of me. Maybe I just want legs, just legs crawling out of a hole. Maybe I've done too many of that already. Yeah, I want a few that are like not in the hole. Okay, I'm gonna put. I'm gonna put the spider here. And I think I'll put a beetle on my shoulder. How about that? Because we got this little hole here. Let's do that. Shoulder beetle. I 
Hey, Kyle. Yeah, I'll let you know for sure. I'll let you know once I'm done uh, streaming and I'm showered off. If I can make it by tonight. American Horror Story. Um, oh, boy. I didn't charge my computer. That was silly. There we go. Charging. Ta-da. Okay. Uh, on your head, on that dot, you already have, like, it's crawling toward my eye. Mmm. Mmm. Okay, I'm gonna, like, bruise my face. Um, there we go. A long distance bike can say, all right, we'll have fun, Selena. Thanks for joining. Okay, I think I'm going to, okay, yeah, I said I'm gonna do it over here, so I'm gonna move over a little bit so you guys can really see. Oh, I'm sorry, Nate. Shoulders are always the hardest. I don't know why. I should have a spider. Yes, I'm definitely going to put a spider somewhere. I just haven't decided exactly where yet. You know, it's funny, whenever I think of, like, beetles like this, it reminds me of uh, that scene in uh, Honey, I Shrunk the Kids. Oh, yeah, I wanted to do some ants. That was another thing. Um, yeah, in Honey, I Shrunk the Kids, and, like, they they find a beetle to ride, <laughs> and they, they have a piece of cookie just, like, dangling in front of him so that they can get him to move. And he was, like, this nice, friendly beetle. This is always an awkward angle. Um, and yes, the whole idea is to ledge. Catch you next week. Sorry. Have fun. I had no idea so many people had such a fear of holes. <laughs> it's funny. This one's gonna look really cool. I'm sorry if you guys aren't seeing it enough. I'm trying. I need to be closer to my mirror though. 
this way. I still can't see it. I'm trying, trying to squeeze it into a picture here. He's got like weird spiky things on his leg, which is weird. He's trying to add them. That's about that. Let's add the highlights. Okay, you guys doing okay? Everybody's good out there. Okay, look at that beetle. Mm -hmm. I'm sad today that you and your videos make me feel better. Oh, Adam, I'm glad if I can make you feel better. I'm sorry that you're sad today. What's keeping you down? Let's give this bad boy some, some shadows here. All right. Oh my god, that one's probably my favorite. Look how creepy this beetle looks. Oh my god. Oh, <laughs> oh my god. When Halloween, my daughter was in Minecraft girl with a costume we made from boxes. It was really cool. Oh, cool beetle. Thank you. Okay, guys. Uh, it's definitely time for a bathroom break. It's been two hours, so I'm going to go quickly just go and relieve myself. Please hang in there, and I'll be back in literally just like a minute, okay? Here we go. Look at all these bugs. Look at the creepy beetle. I'll be right back, guys. Don't go anywhere.
Okay. What did I miss? What did I miss? You guys are still here. Thank you for waiting. I appreciate your patient patience. Uh, scary watching the black curtain. <laughs> I've just long suffered from depression and feel like this year hasn't been a good year for me per se. Very tough one, but your videos bring a sense of relaxation and happiness. Adam, my heart goes out to you. I've also had a very tough year, so I feel for you and I hope you uh, find a way to be happy on your own. And if I can bring a little bit of happiness back into your life, then I'm glad I can. All right, guys, I can't get over this beetle. I mean, like, look at this thing. This is really creepy. I got to do a spider now. Um, I didn't find a picture of a spider. I don't know why I didn't take one of a spider. I'm just going to, uh, I'm just going to try and wing it, I think. Unless, okay, let me just see. Spidey. Spidey. Images. Oh my god, that one would be really creepy if I did that. Can you come here? Happy? Ooh. Oh, this one's really creepy. Yay, we have a new subscriber. Thank you so much for subscribing, Adam. Guys, please go subscribe to my channel on YouTube. If you do it while we're watching the video, while you're watching this video right now, you'll see your name appear on the screen. And that's really cool. It's really cool. Okay. Come on. Where is it? I always sort of have this, like, go-to spider that I usually like to use. I don't know why I can't find that specific image of it right now. I'm just going to wing it because I'm not finding exactly what I'm looking for. So I think I'm just going to, because I want it to go right here and I want it to be crawling up. So I kind of just, I need to sort of get that angle and shape right on my own. Um, look how you're amazingly talented and very beautiful too. You're very positive and encouraging in the midst of your health problems. Thank you, Diana. I try. I really do try. And a lot of that positivity comes from you guys, really. I, I can't say it enough. You guys have been so great for me and making me feel better. And I love you guys. Okay, I'm just going to, I don't know. I'm just going to wing it. I'm going to look at some images, but I, I sort of have my own idea of a spider in mind. Let's see. This one you guys should hopefully be able to see. Yay, we have another subscriber. Thank you so much for subscribing, William. Come on, guys, I have almost 3,000 subscribers. Let's get that number up there.
Sorry, I got so quiet, guys. I'm just focusing so hard. Plus, it's on my neck, so I don't want to move too much by talking. Oh my god, I'm already creeped out. I really, really hate spiders. I feel like it's on me. <laughs> I know it's gonna interfere with my worm. It's half coming out of that hole also then. Alright, I work with it, I work with it. <clears throat> I gave him a really big butt. I like big butts and I cannot lie. You other brothers can't deny. When a girl walks in with an itty bitty waist and a couple of big butts, she gets blown. All right, yeah, this is a big butt spider. Hi, Rodney. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it's, there's only 13 people watching. That's I'm gonna repost the video. I'm gonna try to anyway, because it wouldn't let me do it before. Share. Let's share the video again and get more people here. No, nope. it doesn't want to let me. It's really weird. I'm going to try it this way. Do I have a Snapchat channel? No, I don't. Well, I mean, I have a personal one that I don't <laughs> share with you guys. It's just uh, my own personal Snapchat. So I do have Instagram. You guys can follow me there. Thank you for sharing, Diana. Guys, everybody go ahead and share the video. I'm going to share it again right now. See how many people we can get watching the post. Thank you for sharing. Thank you so much for sharing, everybody. I really appreciate it. Especially since I'm like, I'm finishing up. Let's finish off with a bang and get as many people watching as possible.
All right, this is a little new for me because I usually draw from something and I kind of just sort of did my own thing with this spider a little bit because I couldn't find one that was exactly how I wanted it to be. Hopefully, I'll get these highlights right. Get them highlights right. In there. The trick is to get the highlights right in like the uh, corners, like the creases where they bend their arms. That's where it's, it's at. That's what creates that effect that is sort of higher up than something else because it's hitting the light just right. I am getting hungry. I don't know about you guys, but I'm hungry. Hope you're having a great day too, Rodney. Thanks for checking in. Hi, Ashish. Welcome back. You've been missed. done to add the shadows. Maybe the TV. So I'm usually I give them like a red butt, you know, for the spiders, but I didn't really want to add color to this transformation. Like the gray worm is got as much color as I was planning to add. I want it to be dark and creepy. Dark and creepy. It's not looking. It's cool. I'll make it 3D. So what's on my face? I got holes in my face. Holes in my face. Too many blackheads. Yeah. Major blackheads. I got a serious poor issue, guys. You gotta watch those pores. Um... I know I have to sneeze. Blah, okay. Incoming shock emojis. <laughs> I missed one.
More shock emojis. Okay, it's been another creepy crawly 3D bug crawling up my neck. Ah. Okay. I'm gonna let this fall down a little bit. Let it fall down too much. Let's zoom back. I'm gonna zoom out a little bit so you guys can see more. Just trying to avoid the ceiling. There we go. Thank you, William. I sneezed. I sneezed. Okay. Uh, so I want to go ahead now and. Uh, have you had your hair done? No. Oh my God. No. This is this is a few days. I need to wash it. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and enhance some of the holes in my face. I just feel like they're not coming out as strong as I'd like them to. So I'm gonna even start just with up here. It's just not quite black enough. I want more depth. There we go. I'm gonna grab this one. It blends. Okay, got one down. Oh my eyes are starting to water. There we go. You see the difference? It just needs a little more depth. There you go. Cool. <clears throat> and then we're gonna eat some lunch. I'm getting hungry. I did not eat before. I did not eat enough before doing this. Right. Who's still out there? Say hello. Tell me what you think so far. Guys, am I missing anything? Is there something more that you want to see? Um, please. Please give me your input. I'd love to know what you guys think. side. What's for lunch, guys? <laughs> what do I make for lunch after this? Any uh, any suggestions for me? Talk to me, guys. I'm all alone. I don't have music. What's good? What's the good word?
cheeseburger. Who's gonna make me a cheeseburger? Mmm, cheeseburger does sound really good, right? that one. Okay guys, it's, it's coming along. I'm almost done. I'm just going to add a little bit more to, get to the ones down here. No! No! I want you guys to just take notice that I still have my lipstick on perfectly. <laughs> it's just nothing. I've been drinking water. I've been drinking my coffee. I've been talking a lot for the last two and a half hours, and I put the lipstick on well before that. It's quality lipstick I got on, guys. Wait for the launch. My mom and I, we got these awesome lipsticks coming, so stay tuned. What in God's name am I doing? I am making holes all over myself with bugs crawling out of them. Why not? <laughs> what in God's name are you doing? Okay, I made marks on myself again. Let's get rid of this. marks everywhere. Very cool. Thanks. Got back from the gym, open Facebook to see you. I need other eyes. Cool, Steven. Well, thank you for being here. I miss going to the gym. I was so good about it for so long. I just can't do it anymore. Who's going to come out from that hole, rats? <laughs> no, I think I'm pretty much done with the things coming out of the holes. Um, right now I'm just trying to darken everything so it just uh, stands out more. Finding things that I want to fix. Oh, this one's really got to be fixed here. Uh, 
can't have long enough stuff to do, don't forget, finesse gets harder as you get older. The longer you leave it, the harder it is to get back. Also, without with finesse, it takes longer to come back from injuries than you think it is. Very good advice. You're totally right, Stephen. Um, the black head removal, there's one and only honey, Sandra. <laughs> Oh my god, I love Dr. Pimple Popper. Like, I have a little obsession with it. I, I, like, I, yeah. <laughs> That's good stuff. That's the good stuff. How many more do I have left? Let's get this one done. I don't know if you can see enough of the highlight. Alright, it's almost done, guys. Okay. All right. I think this is my last hole here. Focus, yeah, I'm so focused. Okay, I want to see this on camera. Let's see what I, I think I want to fix this one a little bit and that one. Just a little more highlights. Give it a little more. Alrighty. Let me get this out of my way. Out of my way. Out of my way. Okay, guys, I think this is I think this is just about it. Let me, let me get a good look at this. So we got the beetle, we've got the centipede, an earwig, we have a worm, and we have a spider, and we have a bunch of holes in my face. What I want to do, you know what, for my face, I'll do ants because 
they're small enough that they won't, I can take them kind of from any angle, but I worry about doing something too big on my face, and then I was limited on how I can take my pictures. So I'm going to try a couple. What does an ant look like again? Like, I'm just going to try it. <laughs> Can you tell it's an ant? It's not an uncle. <laughs> no sleep or work in your day. It's too hot. I love keeping cards. Awesome, Albert. Cool. of ants. Maybe I'll just leave it like that. Let's throw in a little bit of highlight to them so they look a little more 3D. And maybe just a little bit of powder for some shadow. It looks like they're like above the skin. Oh well, whatever. I'm leaving it as is. Too much. Uh, what gave me the idea for this uh, this theme? So American Horror Story starts tonight, and I was looking through the um, oh itchy. I was looking through the uh, opening credits video, and there is this really creepy picture of a like a person's back with holes on it, with these like creepy crawlies coming out of it. So that was my idea for today. I have done Chucky. I've done Chucky twice, and I don't think I ever posted them. Um, maybe the first one I did, it was probably one of the very first transformations I ever did, um, and it was for fun, so it's super, super old. And then I tried to do them again, and I wasn't happy with how it turned out, so I didn't post it. But I've been wanting to revisit it again for a third time. I'm always learning, learning from my mistakes, so I would like to try and redo Chucky again. Can't get over the beetle. The beetle's like probably my favorite part of this whole thing. Beetle on my shoulder. Alright guys, we've got the finished look. I'm still not sure if I... I think this is pretty much it. I don't think I forgot anything. I'll probably see it more when I'm taking the pictures if I miss something. Um, yeah, I don't know. Something feels off about the worm, and I'm trying to just figure out how I could adjust that, but... Okay, let's see if I can get more ink. This kind of helps actually. It just needed to look like it was on the right angle. There we go, that helps. Um, can you try to consider busy summers to pew? I can only do a transformation to now. Your videos here that stay us on state and keep up the great and awesome. Hey, Kathleen, thank you so much for subscribing. Everybody go uh, subscribe. Thank you, Kathleen. 
Um, I'll just stay awesome and sweet and keep up with the good work that makes me good. Thank you so much, Omar. I'm sorry that you've missed a few. All right, guys. So this is pretty much it. You can get the whole shot here on, on YouTube. You can see so much more of it. Uh, I'm going to take some pictures now and see what I can come up with and, uh, and post something for you guys really, really soon. Uh, so thank you again for joining me today and hanging out with me while I painted myself. And I hope you guys have fun. I had fun. I'm feeling very holy. Holy moly. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much all I've got. So I'm going to go take some crazy pictures now and go eat a cheeseburger or something. <laughs> thank you guys so much. And if uh, yeah, you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Keep smashing that like button for me. Please share it with your friends. And I love to hear your suggestions for next week's video. Bring on the creepy stuff, guys. It's Halloween season, so I'm going creepy for the next couple months probably. So give me those suggestions. And I'll see you guys next week for another Transformation Tuesday. Hope you guys have an awesome week. Love you all. Take care. Say bye to YouTube first. Bye, guys.